Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll learn how to modify a functional global variable into an action engine. An action engine is a functional global variable that not only stores and retains the data or provides the data that has been stored in the Cifresia, but also performs other operations. In this video, we'll learn other operations as well. Currently, as you can see, the control has only set value and gate value. And the sub UI or the FCV stores and gets the data according to that command. Let's connect the terminals first of all. Now what we'll do is we're going to test the action engine in the another VI. So now what we'll have to do is we are going to add another functionality to convert the FGV into the action engine. So we'll add another command called increment. So let's do it. Add case after we have got the increment. That will neither read the value or write the value, rather it will perform some action or functionality. In this case, it will increment the value by one. Now we have dragged the action engine into the another VI where we'll be testing it. We'll create three different loops that will run only once to test the operation of the action engine. So the first one will test the functionality of the set data. The second will test the increment functionality. And the third one will be used to read the data stored in the FGV. So connect them using the error cluster var so that they will execute in the following order. Set value. Second one will be the increment and the third one will be the gate value now let's connect the terminal first uh, control and we'll be reading the value from there now we'll change that to increment and the third one will be gate value okay so if we'll run as you can see when the input is zero we're getting the value of 1. So if we'll change that to 5, we should get 6. So that is how it works. So change to 8, 9, that's it. So let's uh, modify a bit. So go there rather than in the increment. Let's replace that with the square, the square of the input value. So if we'll go back and if we'll run it, as you can see, we're getting the square of the value, 6, we should get 36. 